We had a pause at that time. That's actually a good pause. Yep. So this will be the last part because then we're going to do something else. Because you know what? Sometimes we just want to relax a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. And, plus, and I got enough videos to edit. I still haven't edited Bloodborne. But by the time you see this video, Bloodborne's already edited. Technically, we weren't supposed to record today. But since next week is Father's Day, we're at... We're yeah, except when you see this, Father's Day is going to be way gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, so I'm playing right now, as you guys want to know. Yep, so we're starting now, so we don't want to waste time, so let's do this. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees. From the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Li Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. <laughs> Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Lee Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? The Shaolin Archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. Li Mei has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. But you can always trust an Outworlder. But if Outworld's our ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance. Not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, 
We have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the con, I'll tell them you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? I shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. Okay, do I have enough time to beat up this guy? We're like at three minutes. Like seven minutes of cutscene. Yeah, at this point, we had to be quiet for so long. A few times I thought it's like, oh no! I don't want to be quiet anymore! Are you kept coughing that you are gonna have to edit out. Oh, careful where you're standing on. What? Dude, there was like tacks on the floor on that ground. No, I didn't realize. So I think we're only gonna do one fight and then we're probably gonna have to end it. Like, wow, that is. Well, that was a very long very story. Long. I'm playing right now, you guys don't realize because I'm still playing because it's how long. Like, see, you see those tacks? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, that's kind of neat. Even though it didn't stop me at all, but that's, that's the point. Oh, you bitch. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> Okay, he is shoved to be sworn at, okay? <laughs> I believe his name is Aaron Block. Oh. Aaron Block. Now, what a weird name. Um, Aaron. Yeah, it's a weird name. <laughs> In other words, I'm making fun of an old friend. Who's not here at the moment? I'm still missing. Yay! I need that. Is that I'm a quick learner. Okay, so we're ending here. I think that's enough for today, right, Anton? Calling it yes. Okay. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now.